Greetings. I want to say first of all that for the French speakers, the video before this one is addressing this topic and that's where you will find the link to the PDF with the United Nations response to a claim, a complaint coming from a so-called revolutionary, Pan-African revolutionary. Don't need to say his, name's there, his name there. It's part of the Asiatic Black Men movement as well. Part of the Church of Scientology movement as well. Supporter of Dianetics, in other words. Like many others, nothing new under, under the sun. What I want to talk about is uh, revolutionaries of crime. I will look for the title in English. I haven't made my mind up yet. Maybe it will be incarcerated revolutionaries. I don't know. But I will find out very soon. Now you have some people who will commit crime or offense or misdemeanor, whatever you want. And they were switching. And now people believe that the reason why they're having trouble with the law is because of their involvement in the struggle for black people liberation of black people or empowerment or improvement of the condition of black people so I will briefly over go just explain what happened with this situation right there and I told you already where to get the source from there are some dudes they attacked a journalist they beat him up it wasn't even a one-on-one -on -one. that was weak from the get-go what can you expect from that kind of people? We teach that Africans are living a jungle life, that Africans are not civilized, and that black people are cursed. Now, dudes get arrested. Dudes have obligation to show up at the police station, and I think they're not supposed to leave the territory. Now, what do dudes do? They leave the country. They run away. They're on a run. Not, not like a runaway slave. Like, if they catch you, you'll be in slavery, but you committed a crime, and... You just flee. You just run. You just run. You take off. You bounce. Then dudes think it's all good after some years, couple of years, and they come back doing lectures, selling books. Guess what? The authorities are not forgotten about you. They arrest you. So dude got arrested, and now all of a sudden, that was crazy. That's a few years back, but a lot of people didn't know, but now that the source is, is shared regarding the full situation people were saying oh that's a revolutionary he's being arrested because of his view because of his struggle for black people you know all that talk and I'm looking at it like are y'all kidding me are y'all effing kidding me dude they jumped a dude they jumped a journalist because they disagreed with what he was saying they had beef with him or whatever you want to call it however you want to put it so you had a situation where many people were saying that and the main individual <laughs> he would just not go out of his way to clarify the situation he will roll along with it that's the narrative i am a freedom fighter and i'm being arrested and sent to prison because of my movement for the black people and one argument that was very funny to me was that he did come he was the, basically, he left France and he was living in Africa. And also, oh yeah, he's on the ground, he's on the field, he's in Africa. He ran. You're supposed to upload that. If you want to, you have the right to. He did come out at some point to do a lecture and sell books. And then he went back, no problem. So he thought it was all good in the hood. And then we did it. When he did it again, he was arrested. And when he's filing the complaint to the United Nations, which is not talking about publicly, publicly is, I'm a freedom fighter, I'm being arrested because of the movement. Yeah. But on the law, oh yeah, I want to appeal this. You have the right to. They're talking about how come he was never arrested before. Well, it's very simple. The authorities, they have bigger fishes to fry. There are some people putting bombs, shooting innocent with machine gun and stuff like that. I don't need to go into the details. If you have a TV or if you have a radio or if you have the internet, you must have heard about some news every now and then. There are bigger fishes to fry. So the dude was sent to jail because the crime committee and this was and, uh, not applying to the um, um, to, to certain guidelines 
like I mentioned, having to sign up at the police station, having to give an address where you're staying so you can be reached. There was some um, appointments, some convocations sent, no replies, dude didn't show up. So they did what they do, just like with many other people. But that situation where several people attacked a journalist, they jumped the dude, they switched it and presented it to the people as if they're being arrested because of the struggle. And one thing that I forgot to say in the French video, but at least I'm saying it in this one, so it is said for the record. Some, some people do understand both French and English, so it's all good. The lawyer's request to the United Nations talks about the statements made to the authorities after the arrest. And he said that dude and another one denied hitting the journalists. I think they even said that the journalists hit them. But anyway, you do what you got to do. You do what you got to do so that, you know, the best outcomes comes for your case. The best outcome. So you understand what I mean? I'm sure. If you don't, it's a shame because I don't want to take too long with this video. It's already six minutes. I definitely want to be ten, less than 10 minutes. The French video, uh, the French version of this video, it was like probably three minutes, less than four. But anyway, there's a video that dude made after the situation, after the altercation, and he bragged about hitting the journalist. He bragged about that. Like he had a, a ring, and the, the, the mark of the ring was on the dude's face. And what's funny is that this video is still online to this day. So it's so funny how people, you jump the dude, jump the journalist, and you go on video and you act like you're so strong and tough, like you punched the dude. When y'all jumped the dude, but then when you go to the authorities, you're like, oh, no, 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 I didn't hit him. And I, I think if you, you can look it up, he's like, he's the one who hit me. But I think that's funny to me. It is what it is. So that was it. Less than seven minutes. Stay safe.